Assalamu alaikum and hi everyone. In this video, we will learn how to control LED brightness using PWM or Pulse Wave Modulation on Raspberry Pi Pico. We will use a potentiometer to control the amount of light for the LED. Watch this video if you want to learn more. Stack Raspberry Pi Pico on the breadboard. Connect the Pico's 3.3V to the positive power rail of the breadboard. Then, connect the Pico's ground to the negative power rail of the breadboard. Take an LED. The longer leg needs to be connected to Pico's TPIO15 via the resistor. So, take a 330 ohm resistor and insert it into the breadboard in the same row as Pico's TPIO15 and the other leg into the same row as the longer leg of the LED. Then, insert a male-to-male -male jumper wire into the same row as the shorter leg of the LED and connect it to the negative side of the breadboard's power rail. Insert the potentiometer into the breadboard. It has three pins. Connect the right pin to the positive power rail. The middle pin to the GPIO26. The left pin to the negative power rail. Okay, now we can plug a micro USB cable into the micro USB port on the Pico. Then, connect the other end of the micro USB cable to one of the USB ports on our Raspberry Pi 400. Now, to program this project, we need to use Tony Python IDE. Make sure to choose MicroPython Raspberry Pi Pico. As usual, import machine so we can control our Pico's TPIO pins and we need to import the UTime library so that we can handle everything to do with time. Next, we will set up the pins that we are going to use. For the potentiometer, since it is an analog input, we will set up it as an ADC pin or analog to digital converter pin at pin GPIO26. Then for the LED, we set it to pin GPIO15 with PWM so that it activates the path wave modulation output on the pin. This line is to set the LED frequency to 1000 Hz or 1000 cycles per second. Lastly, this line takes a raw reading from the analog input connected to the potentiometer and map it to a range that the PWM can understand, then uses it as an output. Click the run button and save the program to our Pico as LED underscore PWM dot PY. Now you can control the LED brightness on Pico. That's all for today. I'm Suat from Cytron Technologies. Thank you for watching.